morning movie lovers so today's review i am joined by my beautiful cousin paula which we call her paularina hello say hello paularina oh p p p p pauls pauls puff puff no <laughs> nobody calls her puff puffs but she's really trying okay they'll so just call her puff puffs that's yeah. what you want I call her Paula Mooks. Mm -hmm. It's a combo. But we are going to be discussing Paula's favourite movie, one of her favourite movies, and a quarantine movie, which is Men in Black. Yeah. She's obsessed. Love it. Love, she, love, 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 love. Like, is one of the few people that I know that absolutely adore this film. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong, I love Men in Black, but she loves it. I can actually watch it every day. Now, I'm being serious. No, I there's actually, actually films like that. Yeah, I, I can actually like watch it every day. It came out in 1997 after Independence Day yeah. and Bad Boys. And I just think it was such a it was such a nice like follow-up after Independence Day. Who the hell are you? INS Division 6. There is no Division 6. Our mission is to monitor extraterrestrial activity on Earth. Yeah. Like, he was more, um, a little bit goofy, and it wasn't too si I mean, he's a cop, and he's like, pop up on it. Yeah, yeah, which kind of yeah. just reminded me of Bad Boys, mm. that intro bit when he's chasing the, the perp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, the beginning, yeah. and then the they fight the yeah, alien, yeah. yeah. And um, that was very Bad Boys. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. even the cast, the cast of Men in Black, the only person I knew Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones, and obviously Will Smith, but what's his name? Rip, Rip Torn. Name? Yeah, Rip Torn. Love that name. You're all here because you're the best of the best, and we're looking for one of you. Hey, what's up? Yeah, so which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the first one or the second one? Obviously the third one. Mm, okay, yeah, it's not as, yeah, but I still but like still, it. But still, it's yeah. part of the, the, the trilogy yeah, fan. Yeah. And, um, I just feel like, okay, sorry, I know we're jumping ahead, but I feel like the third one, they get a bit too deep. Cause no, but me, I like that. I know, but and that's never, one of the things that I never, like that about. Never, yeah, but they never um, give us that. The third you know, one. like normally in films, they give you like a little inkling of the storyline. You know what I'm saying? There was no connection between um, K and J. Just you know what I'm saying. And then in the third one, there is a connect. Just you know what I'm saying. Mm. Because, but it, also, at the, if you remember in the first one, he just like has always kept this soft spot for J, mm. and he always kind of like it was a weird like father and son. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Yeah. If your girl don't tell you, you've got lipstick on your lips. She, she ain't a real one. She ain't a real one. Okay. Tommy okay. okay. Lee Jones. I'm gonna count to three. He'll do it, Jeeves. One. I'm telling you, that man does not look stable. Two. He's always crazy. Why don't you get a massage or take a cream? Yeah, there was always that, like, father and son. He always kind of, like, guided him. Mm -hmm. So when the third one came, which is one of the things that I actually did like mm -hmm. for a trilogy, for a third installment, yeah. is that they managed to kind of do a nice full circle, loop everything in. Because yeah. what I hate most of the time in trilogy is just, like, Where what's happening? Going? they normally i think at that point when people do the third film it's like yeah yes <laughs> like, yeah okay. you're just like, yeah, well, like you're just yeah. you're, you're forcing it now yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? see that's good because you like that bit but i didn't like mm. it because i just felt like it just it was random this is when k is younger but mm. this is a whole what's his name what's the actor's name the one who plays thanos yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a whole Thanos. You know? It's a whole Thanos. Thanos. Like Thanos was busy that yeah, day. Yeah, like, he what was the hell? making most of the movies. Do you know what I'm saying? But they I want to get some coffee. You want some coffee? No, thank you. I'm fine. Hey, hey, hey. You guys get along all right? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Um, so, is there anything that you loved, or did you have a favorite scene from Men in Black One? Men in Black One. Um, yeah you know when obviously he gets the job and then the guy's like basically telling him like how you know we are the men in black like you'll be known to no one you would have no existence in this world we are the men in black and then he puts on the suit and then he goes the difference with me and you i make these look good, good. oh my god yeah. that is i literally had yeah. the same thing when yeah. that's literally my one of my favorite lines from the whole film yeah, when it's yeah. like the difference between me and you yeah. Is I'll make it look good. good. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah. yes. And yeah. that, the thing is, why you relate to that or mm. you, that sticks in your head? Because one, it's very Will Smith. Yeah. Two, it's very charismatic. Yeah. And three, he did look good in that suit. He does. He does. He so does. We, we can't even like, do you know yeah. what I mean? No identifying marks of any kind. We're no longer part of the system. We are the men in black. You know what the difference is between you and me? 
I make this look good. And then, like, who makes a film and then does the soundtrack and then it's just like... I know, like, it was a huge, hit. Yeah. Huge. Like, Man started yeah. with Aliens. Yeah, it was sick. In the video. Yeah, he was sick. He was popping. Yeah. Who, Willy, what? Big Willy was popping. Big yeah. Willy? Big Willy was popping. That sound really, really bad. Wrong, but... Really bad. We yeah. might have to... Will Smith <laughs> was... You know how to use these things? No idea whatsoever. Also, what I do love about that, mm. which is which reminded me of that, was um, Joyner Lucas's tribute. Mm. to Will Smith. Have oh, you not yeah, seen yeah. it? No. Oh my god, babes, where have you been? It's actually like the cutest thing ever. He's done a whole like homage to Will. Oh, the oh the rapper. Yeah, yeah I have, I have, I yeah. have seen it. I have yeah. seen it. I have seen no, it. Yeah, it's like he's, so um, beautiful. He, yeah, he plays like, different characters yeah, characters that he's yeah. played mm. from, you know, yeah. Fresh Prince to Men in Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just the reason why I love that is because usually we kind of wait for our heroes mm. and our icons and people we look up to mm. when they pass away. That's when we're like, oh my god, I really what love I this make, person yeah, and I let yeah, them know yeah, that yeah. how much. But it's like a little bit too late. Too late. Yeah. Um, but I love how. Also, as a grown man, you're not afraid to kind of like express, that, yeah. express your feelings. Like, yeah. yo, this guy really paved the way. Well, like, yeah. you know, a fellow black guy. Mm. And then how Will responded as well. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Just so emotional. Yeah, Just yeah, so yeah, cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love that. Yeah, so, like more of that, that shit, yeah. please, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, back to the film. Uh, Series 4 de atomizer. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy cricket. I feel like I'm going to break this damn thing. <laughs> I agree with you like mm. there's a lot watching Men in Black now that I'm like actually it's a way better film than I actually yeah. gave credit for because yeah, yeah. Tommy Lee is an ally mm. and there's a few woke moments that he has in there when mm. he's talking about um you know right at the beginning when they uh, stop that um that car full of like Mexican oh, yeah, trying to yeah, cross yeah, the border yeah, yeah, yeah. and then he says oh it's fine go back yeah. in the truck or whatever yeah, and he was yeah. like oh um, and like you can, alien, yeah, yeah he was like you can protect us from the aliens, aliens. it was yeah. just like so many so, yeah. shots were being thrown yeah, yeah, yeah. um freaking love that yeah, yeah but unlimited technology from the whole universe and we cruise around in a Ford POS fasten your seatbelt see now we got to work on your people skills <laughs> One and two are definitely my faves because I think I, I, it's nostalgic. Mm, yeah, yeah. Sense. There's like, some films that are not amazing, but they're just yeah, having nostalgia it's just about nostalgic them. Nostalgic to yeah. me, like you know, there's other films. That obviously, Men in Black is one of my, you know, one on my top. Mm. Um, the fact that it was Will Smith, a guy that we grew up like only black guy that was huge on mainstream TV, mm, mm, like mm. you know, he was a rapper. He was, you know, so really he was paved the way for a lot of like, people. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah, he's aging well too. Exactly. So and I think it's very interesting because it was different from the films people were making at that time yeah. like it's so cool like because i like all them like sci-fi sci oh, yeah thing is, and like, also you didn't really see black people mm, in sci-fi movies, movies like yeah. that and who survived the whole film yeah if there was a black person in a sci-fi film he's They'll he's dying in the off. first five exactly. minutes of yeah. that movie yeah and will smith was able to play those characters mm. that survived yeah and that were charming yeah. and he's i i'm mm. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but he's legit never played a gangster. Yeah. He hasn't. Never played a roadman. Oh my god, he hasn't. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why he's held at such a standard. Because he's always playing these like yeah, positive these characters. positive characters yeah, yeah. or like not really, you know, falling into that super stereotype mm, mm. that we've been stigmatized with. Yeah. Um so that's really good actually. That's such say. a good um, in his own you know, in yeah. his own way he's managed to change the yeah. narrative of the black man in america uh, yeah. in his own way yeah. you know along with other people like denzel and do you that. think that's like a decision 100 like, yeah, like he chooses he's like you know what i'm not gonna One, act yeah, yeah i know really... he's he's made a conscious decision mm. probably early on in his career that there's plenty of us playing these roles, roles yeah i don't need to be another one that's really sick, you know yeah. and then that's what set him aside Side, yeah, because he's really else. he's really you know picked out his mm. journey as an actor and how the world sees him. Sees him, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I knew it. This is an alien, and you guys are from some government agency trying to keep it under wraps. No. <laughs> so, 
but yeah. Paula Mooks. Yeah. Paula P. Pauls. What would you give Men in Black? Oh my God, that's not even like, do you know what actually? No, 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 no. 10 out of 10. Ooh! 10 out of 10. Because you know what, if I can watch a film every day and not get tired of it, mm. to me that's a winner. That's and I'm not gonna lie, there's no films like have made me feel how Men in Black, like I, oh. there's, I can't really think of films that I like that much or mm -hmm, like I can mm -hmm. watch over and over again. Yeah. And you should see me the way I watch the TV, like, <laughs> like you know, like you have, you've never seen never. it. But those yeah. are the films that like you love, do you yeah. know what I mean? you love watching. I just love it. Men in Black. Protecting the earth from the scum of the universe. So from the talking dog, the bloody little skinny man, like it's amazing. Yeah. And then Will Smith, it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I love the fact that obviously is it kind of he's gonna basically take like replacing the main bad man, mm. who's Agent K, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So 10 out of 10 from me. Personally. I give it an eight, eight out of ten. Um, no, I love it, I love it, I love it! Oh! Oh, no, she didn't. Uh, no. It, the reason why, although I do love Men in Black, it doesn't hold the same, like... What is it then? Uh, no, 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 I love it. No, anything above an 8 is freaking amazing. Mm. Anything, like, do you know what I mean? Okay, An right. average film is a 7, 7.5 yeah, under yeah. 8, do you know what I mean? Nah. Anything above 8 is a top film, okay, bro. Cool. Like, don't get me wrong. Okay, Th cool. There's barely any films that get a 10. Oh, right, right. Barely any films cool, that get a 10. Cool. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, but... It's it's not my go-to. It's not in my top thirty, mm. but I love it. Mm. Like it's it holds a little special. Listen, will hold a special place in my heart. So um, yes, I do love Men in Black. And for you, Men in Black, <laughs> it's in my quarantine yeah. to top watch movies. Must. must. Um, but I just want to say thanks, Paula, for joining You're me. Welcome. It was a pleasure. Come join me. You know, if you like me, like, subscribe. <laughs> you know what else do I share? Say? Share. Yeah. Comment. You know. But um, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Until next time. Next time. Bye. Here comes you got, a, you got a dab. I'm too old to dab. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Give me some fan. Give me some noggin. Dude. <laughs> <laughs>